Hey everyone, um, I'm just putting together another wicking bed and a couple of people have asked me how I do it so I just thought I'd show you my way. Uh, it's changed each time depending on what materials I've got around. But this is the IBC tank, cut in half. This is just a bit of black plastic which I always put around just to stop the bottom uh, light getting in and algae possibly getting in. This is the little drainage hole. Normally it doesn't have this part on, but it was just a little bit low where it was coming in. You can sort of see down there. Um, so I needed to make it a little bit higher so that this, this part here is level with the inside part of this. So it comes right to that level, the water. Um, this particular pallet has holes in it. So what I do is just put in a little bit of cloth you know you could use shade cloth or something this is just what I had left around um, and then I'm filling that with perlite and that just helps with the wicking all right the next step is to put down the shade cloth and just before I do that I put in the water inlet pipe it can go anywhere my outlet is over here I usually put it um, not right next to the outlet I don't know why I just don't um, this pipe, I've put a hole down the bottom as well, just to let it flow easily. Um, and then you need to attach it to the side of the container. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because it's way too early in the morning and uh, the neighbours are sleeping and I'm going to use a drill for it. But this is one that I've done before. So yeah, I've just used a tie, you know, one of those Ziploc ties to tie it on. Um, the problem with this one is it's a small pipe so it's just annoying if you've got a normal size garden hose I think the larger pipes are better all of them need to have um, a little bit of mosquito netting over them though okay so I've put the um, shade cloth in um, I just tend to tuck down the excess between oh, where can I show you here that's that black plastic that I've put around the container so I just tuck in the excess around it but a lot of people don't use this much shade cloth you know they might only fill it a certain to a certain level and not go the whole way up the sides but I just find it easier um, and here's where the inlet is so I just cut a little piece around that I'm going to tuck all this in around the side here and then I'm going to fill it with um, soil which I've actually dug out here from where I've placed it on the ground and I forgot to say I've made mine a little bit higher um, using the pallets there so the dirt that I've cut out is just about to go back in okay so that's the um, container done and little seedlings have gone in I'll thin them out later on but I'm making another container over here so they'll end up in there half of them uh, I'm watering them in because it's pretty hot today but normally I might give them a little drink of water maybe for the first few days and that's it after that they just seem to thrive and they end up just going and wicking from the bottom so generally they don't need a lot of water on the surface at all and there will be some rain so that'll help the last thing I'll do is just put a little bit of straw on the top okay so there we go the whole thing's done um, short of putting a little bit of mozzy deterrent around those um, outlets and inlets. Uh, the next one I'm going to build over there I'll be using a mesh for a base rather than plastic and over here I've got some other ones which I'll just show you. This is a, another type of um, wicking bed. It's the same idea. You have an inlet pipe here and it goes into this little bit of um, drainage pipe and it's slotted drainage pipe so the water goes through there this bit in the middle here where there's no um, it's a bit hard to see there yeah that bit there in the middle I'll fill that in with scoria or you could use sand or whatever you want and I'll bring the level up to the drainage point which is over here comes out there and yeah you fill it up the same way just put in the cloth the shade cloth soil and away you go so it's a smaller option and I've got one more option okay these are um, air 
pruning beds. So this is just a fibre, like you'd like a root pouch um, that you would buy, and you fill that up, and then sit it on a base of some sort. <clears throat> Again, put scoria rocks. Here's one that's got the rocks you can see. Um, we've just had a massive downpour, which is why these are full. Normally they're not that full. <clears throat> 